Hello, Internet! So I haven't been making a video for a while. A um, large, large part of it is because I've been writing my thesis and trying to get a paper uh, up from the ground. Um, so that has been taking a lot of time, and especially like concentrated thinking time, that I haven't been thinking about a lot of other things. Um, including the topic of this video, to be honest. Um, at first, I thought I might do something funny about um, thesis and thesis writing, so I was looking up memes online, but then I found that um, thesis meme on the internet are depressing. I thought, you know, I will tell you about one of my migraine heroes who kinds of give me, um, in the moments of darkness, some form of hope. And that person is Friedrich Nietzsche. And also, this is not going to be any about his, um, you know, philosophy or anything like that. First off, because I'm not a student of philosophy, I don't know that well about his stuff. Also, because the thing I know about um, his work, I don't... Well, you know, I kind of agree on some of the points. I profoundly disagree on others. So there. But yeah, one thing... That me and Nietzsche have in common, as I mentioned, is where we both have migraines. But unlike me, of course, uh, Nietzsche is a very smart guy. So he actually got a prof like, I guess, a professorship um, in Switzerland uh, when he was 24 without a PhD or anything. He, like, he's just so brilliant with his work that they, you know, at the time you don't really need a PhD to get in, I suppose. And he's stay there for basically the next 10 years of his life. Yeah, but unfortunately, um, Nietzsche probably develops uh, other kind of illness as well, uh, specifically um, mental illness, uh, because he express um, what you can call delusions of grandeurs in several occasions. Um, so that's people have taken that as a sign that he is starting to suffering from whatever mental illness that is that probably carries on throughout his life and is responsible for his breakdown eventually. Um, but Nietzsche was at that point, and Nietzsche was able to hold a job until he was about 35 when his illness, um, probably both the mental illness and the migraine, and maybe he has other things too, um, got to the point where he can't really give, keep a regular job anymore. So he has to quit. Resigning at 35 actually was in the end of Nietzsche's career, and one may argue that is actually the start of the best part of his career. Um, that was like the next 10 years of his life before he has a mental breakdown. There's the part that he writes all his, like, you know, most influential books and stuff like that. Um, although, um, because of his illness, um, he was actually only able to write um, in 20 minutes chunks. Um, so that would be how he worked, and that's why his writing is kind of choppy and a little weird in, compared to, like, other philosophers where you might get, like, this really long, flowery, flowy essays. But yeah, so when when I'm kind of sick, that's, that's kind of my strategy. So can I gather enough energy to work in 20 minutes chunk and then, you know, stay in the bed for for essentially the next chunk of the work? Also, I was kind of thinking a lot about, about the fact that Nietzsche's uh, retired at 35 um, because, it, well, you know, my grain is neurological and progressive. Um, hopefully, if I move, it's going to be better after a PhD, but that's, that's really wishful thinking, mostly. Um, so, uh, yeah, worst case scenario at 35, I probably have to reevaluate. Uh, my life and see and see how I can go from there. So yes, that's the story of Frederick Nietzsche, the person whom life story I look to to kind of tell myself that, you know, being migrainer, um, having it be debilitating doesn't mean that you can't have a productive life. Um, it does mean thing will be hard, things will be hard and Honestly, I don't blame Nietzsche for being so depressive in some of his thinking because when you are awake at 3 a.m. in the morning unable to sleep because your brain just will not shut down from that storm outside, uh, things get pretty nihilistic, to be honest with you. 
And sorry about this weird and depressing video. I hope you all are happy and healthy. And take care of yourself, guys. See y'all.